time for News Extra, brought to you by Gehring Civic Center. And here again, Kevin Mooney. Thank you very much, Dennis. Good morning, everyone. We have Amber Shills and Stacy Fisher here to talk about the latest with the Gehring Dog Park. The Common Grounds Dog Park Committee is the group that's uh, putting that together. Welcome, you guys. Thank you. All right. So uh, let's let's just start about where where you're at as far as uh, uh, getting the dog park construction because we had kind of a ground like a groundbreaking about a month ago, mm-hmm. Stacy. So uh, how far have you got as far as fencing is concerned? We've got uh, one section almost completely done. Uh, we're working on our second section, and then uh, probably won't be able to start until spring on the big section. Yeah, but we're the big gaining section around the whole park, yeah. right? Five acres, yep. Yeah, okay. It's going to be a five-acre dog park at uh, U Street and Five Rocks Road. Mm-hmm. Yep. And uh, the fencing you're talking about, you're doing now, are for what? The timid and timid and small dog, and then the main entrance. Yeah. Okay. And uh, you're hoping to maybe get a little more work done in the next week or so while the weather's. Halfway decent? Yeah, we're uh, trying to get as many posts in as we can before winter sets in. And, of course, we got a lot of fencing to stretch and to tie up. And, so and any volunteers, them. this weekend we're, we're hitting our last kind of good working weekend. So if anyone's interested in helping out and if anyone's really good at handy um, at building fence, definitely we need any volunteers okay. that are interested. All right. So you guys are going to try to work some on Saturday and Sunday or yeah, both days, mm-hmm. huh? Okay. So uh, if you're interested in volunteering, all you have to do is uh, give one of these folks a call and uh, give us your phone numbers there. My number is 308-631-6395, or they can get a hold of us at uh, www.commongroundsdogpark.com. Or, uh, we're on Facebook as well. We're on Facebook also. Yeah, that'd probably be well, probably the easiest mm-hmm. way to do it. Just get a hold of you on your Facebook page. Mm-hmm. Right? Yep. Common Grounds Dog Park Facebook page. Is that what it is? Yep. Common Grounds Dog Park Committee. Okay. All right. Uh, we'll take a break here, and then we're going to talk a little bit about fundraising because I need some money right after this. Talk about experience. The Gearing Civic Center has hosted over 1 million satisfied attendees in its 23-year history. We are going the extra mile every day to ensure every event goes off without a hitch. Ask anyone that has hosted an event at the Gearing Civic Center, and they will tell you that our staff goes the extra mile to meet their needs. We are professional hosts who make sure everything is taken care of. Call 436-6888 or visit GearingCivicCenter.com and like us on Facebook. All right, we're back on News Extra. We have some folks with the Common Grounds Dog Park Committee over in Gearing, Stacy Fisher and Amber Shills are here, and uh, we've been talking about construction. They're working on some of the smaller fences right now over at that site at uh, Five Rocks Road and uh, U Street. Uh, they had a little groundbreaking ceremony. The mayor made some nice yeah. comments for you guys. Yeah, huh? that was great. Mm-hmm. He's excited about that public-private partnership. We're working with the city of Gearing. It's just been a fantastic project so yeah, far. Yeah, really has. Uh, all right, let's talk about where you are on fundraising real quick. So the first phase of the dog park is, includes all the fencing and shelters and trees, and that's going to cost about $40,000. With grants and donations so far, we're at 28000 so we've made a lot of progress. We're still looking if any businesses or individuals are interested in donating to the project. Um, we are going to recognize them in the park in various ways, so if they're interested, definitely get a hold of us. All and right. that second phase will include a few extra things. Uh, we really want an ADA uh, paved pathway along the perimeter of the park and um, other cool projects like that and that'll an agility course and um, so that total will be 80,000 and so that's what we're going to focus on next year too all right so uh, that's pretty good and then you've had uh, Stacy you guys have had a lot of help from some other folks in addition to the city am I right yes you've that's had, correct uh, some businesses uh, step up um, Sandberg implement has been donating the equipment uh, along with uh, Chanel services uh, we've got uh, Home Depot has given us a, a great price on the fencing, and we're getting uh, several donations in from other businesses. All right. Tell me about the uh, number of people that are behind this and the reason why you guys, even though there's a dog park over in Scott's Bluff at Riverside uh, Park, why you felt it was necessary to have one in Gearing. Well, we uh, 
We've been looking for a uh, larger dog park. The one we have now is a little small. Uh, you get a bunch of dogs in there and it causes problems. Yeah. Uh, so, we've outgrown it. Yeah, we've outgrown it. So uh, we're looking, uh, we looked around for a bigger area and uh, we got with the city of Gearing and found uh, this 5.4 acre area and it works out perfect for us. Yeah, big area, five yeah. acres, that's not bad. And um, um, the other things we want to have people uh, just do is uh, if they have some, maybe at Christmas time, they want to make a donation mm -hmm. to something. Um, if they're, uh, I know the difference between dog people and cat people <laughs> and all that stuff, yeah. but uh, if you're a dog person, maybe this is the thing you ought to be donating to, right? Yes, definitely. You can even uh, make donations in memory of dogs that you've had. Some people have done that in the past. But like I said, we will be um, thanking those sponsors as we get the park up in various ways. Maybe their name is on a shelter or their name is on um, a, a board or something like that. So we're, we're appreciative of any donations that people would like to give for this project. All right. If you uh, would like to uh, volunteer, this weekend's a good weekend to do it. Um, you guys will be out there what time? Maybe about 9 o'clock in that neighborhood? Mm -hmm. 9 to usually about 4 uh, with the uh, early sun going down. It's getting yeah, a little about nine tight. To four. But... <laughs> no, <laughs> four. And for any volunteers, we provide lunch if you come out and help. So. All right. Lunch is provided if you come out and help out. So 9 to 4, Saturday and Sunday. If you want to help them stretch fence, put poles down, that type of thing, uh, this weekend's the weekend to do it. Yep. All right, very good. Uh, we appreciate Stacy Fisher and Amber Shills coming in to talk about the Gearing Dog Park.